Hey YouTube family, it's Sarah, last of Sarah, and today I thought I would come in with the, as promised, uh, reflections on 200 pounds lost video. I made similar videos at 100 pounds lost and 150 pounds lost, so I thought it was about time that I got to work on this one as well. Um, I wanted to have notes and, and all that good stuff, and I, I don't know, for some reason I've had a hard time kind of, I don't know if it's coming to terms with it or just processing exactly what it means to me but um I just thought I would come in and make the video so I apologize if it's a little scattered um I'll start with um just a recap of my story really quickly I know some of you watching this video may not follow me normally I may not be subscribed to my channel or have seen past videos of mine but um I started my journey in 2012 my highest weight in at the end of September was 460 pounds. Um, I'm five ten and a half, uh, and I made the decision to have vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG surgery uh, in Mexico. I could have gone through the process here um, in Ontario, Canada. I chose not to. Um, I do have videos on my channel talking about that as well. Um, I could have gone to the U.S. I chose not to do that. I did choose to go to Mexico um, and have my surgery with Dr. Aceves at Mexicali Bariatric. Uh, I had a wonderful experience. I highly recommend Dr. Aceves as a surgeon. Um, I think my results and the results of his other patients sort of speak for themselves. So, um, yeah, if you're uh, in the in the uh, market for a surgeon, definitely look him up. Um, I lost 40 pounds preoperatively in two months, uh, both on my own pre-op diet and then on um, the surgeon recommended pre-op diet for two weeks directly before surgery. My surgery day weight, November 30th, 2012, was 420 pounds. Um, it's now almost exactly 11 months since the beginning of my journey, and I've now lost over 200 pounds. Um, so I, I won't give the exact number till Friday, but I'm under, well under actually at this point, 260 pounds. Um, and I've lost over 160 pounds since my surgery, again, almost exactly nine months ago. So... <sighs> There, I'm going to not cry in this video, I swear. There is something unbelievable about a weight loss number that starts with two. At, like, I just, it's hard to process. Um, or process, as my American friends would say. <laughs> um, and I mean, not everyone... Most people on this journey are not going to have a 200 pound weight loss because they don't have 200 pounds to lose. Um, so, you know, the number sounds really impressive, I think. But I mean, it's only because I was so overweight that I could even get to 200 pounds loss. So, as much as I understand that it is, it sounds amazing to say that I've lost 200 pounds I realized that it in no way makes, you know, my journey any more special than anyone else's. It doesn't make my accomplishments any better. In the end, the number itself doesn't matter. Um, you know, if I never get to goal, then does it matter exactly how much I lost? Or, you know, if we look at percentage of weight lost, I mean, there's people who have done better than me, faster than me, whatever. But um, for me... I understand and I realize on this journey now, the only person that I'm competing against is me. So I, I, I've really let go of that comparison thing. I really have because it just doesn't, it doesn't serve anyone. Um, so the point of this video, and if you guys uh, saw my video, you, uh, on, I think it was on Sunday, I made a sort of celebratory dance or actually rap video, which I've done a couple of times previously. And, and I want you to know that that is not about me saying, oh, look at me, look, I've lost 200 pounds, I'm awesome. I mean, it's really just something, it was something fun to do and, and I guess just trying to inspire and motivate other people a little bit. Um... Don't get me wrong, I'm proud of what I've done. I, I am. Um, I, I have to be. I, I've, I've worked hard. Um, I've worked really hard to get to where I am. No doubt. Um, I'm tired of saying it's not easy because those of you who, you know, are in this journey, you know it's not easy. And the people who think it's easy don't understand anyway. So you're probably never going to hear me say that again, to be honest. Um, 
you guys know. You know how difficult it is. And, uh, it's, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like I, my nose runs because I, I'm pre-crying. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I am proud of myself and I'm proud of what I'm proud of what I've accomplished. Um, so I, I didn't want it to seem like I was diminishing that, but I also never want it to seem like I think that my journey is somehow any better or any more special or that I'm any more successful than anyone else out there. Um, so numbers wise, what does losing 200 pounds mean? Um, so for me, uh, my BMI when I started this was 64 or they're about 63.9, and it's now down to uh, 36.7. Um, so that's a big difference. Uh, I've talked about it before, BMI doesn't really work for me, to be honest. My body does not really fit into that, but it is the way that most uh, of the medical field measures weight loss. Um, so I thought I would throw that in there. Uh, Size-wise, um, at my highest, I was probably a size 34 or maybe even a 36, even though that wasn't the size I was wearing. Um, when it came to actual fitted clothing, that would have been my size. Um, and now I am probably about a 16 on top. Um, so I can wear a double XL or sometimes even an extra large shirt in, in regular sizes. Um, so weird to say that. <laughs> um, and on the bottom, I'm about an 18 maybe a 20, so 18, 20. Um, I do have the typical weight loss surgery body where I've shrunk on the top and then I'm bigger on the bottom and hopefully that will eventually even out. Um, when I was smaller, uh, basically as a child, you know, once I hit puberty, um, I did really have like an hourglass kind of figure. I do have um, a smaller waist, bigger hips. Um, so I hope that I'll, it's coming back, but I hope that eventually, you know, things will distribute in, yeah. Um, so that's what it's meant size, um, wise and, and BMI wise. Um, how does it feel physically to lose 200 pounds? Um, I was talking about this with my husband, but as strange as this sounds, either I don't remember what it was like to be 460 pounds, even though it wasn't that long ago, or it just really doesn't feel that different because I don't leap out of bed in the morning and go, wow. I feel so small. I feel so energetic. Um, my energy is still crappy. Um, and yes, you know, I take vitamins, I take supplements, my blood work is fine. I, there is no medical reason that they can give me other than low calories for uh, my lack of energy. So um, I'm not that much more energetic than I was at 460. Um, I do feel lighter, of course, but not in a, in a, in a, massively different way. Um, so physically, yeah, it's, it's really strange. I definitely feel it, but, but it doesn't seem like a 200 pound weight loss. Um, and even I think when someone looks at me, I don't usually talk about exactly how much weight I've lost unless someone specifically asks me because usually it makes them uncomfortable because they don't realize I could have been that big. Um, I'm lucky just because of my body type and my height that I, I carry my weight extremely well. I always have. So no one would ever normally guess how much I weigh just from looking at me, um, which I guess is a blessing and a curse, um, you know, in different ways. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, I physically see the difference. I physically see the loss. I don't know whether I see a 200 pound loss, but I see the loss. But feeling it, I don't know. It's strange. Um, I noticed it just in my everyday activity, um, in my fitness level, of course. I went from, you know, being winded, climbing the stairs, to being able to run, you know, five, eight minutes at a time. For me, that is an amazing accomplishment. I've never run, ever, in my life. Uh, the fact that I don't really like it, and I probably won't really continue to do it very much, notwithstanding. <laughs> um, I can do an aerobic class, a Zumba class. Uh, my endurance is obviously much, much different. Um, you know, I lift weights. My body is strong. I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but, um, but my fitness level is probably the thing that has changed the most other than my physical appearance. Um, my family life has changed. You know, yes, I've changed. Okay. My eating habits have changed. My exercise habits have changed. How I view things has even changed to some degree. How I view myself and the things I've discovered about myself. Um, since this journey started, it has been a gift. 
to start to, oh God, here we go. It has been a gift to start to peel away those layers and start to rediscover myself. Um, on my blog, which I haven't updated in a million years, um, but the sort of tagline was less of me, more myself. And that was my aim from the beginning of this journey was to lose that excess weight and to gain a better understanding of who I really was underneath all of that. And I feel like that's happening finally. I feel like I'm learning new things about myself. Like I am becoming who I was meant to be. Um, and other people have commented on it as well here on YouTube and even in my own life, my friends have commented on how positive the changes have been and, and how different I am. Um, that's also kind of scary. I know Sarah Nerd in Oregon has talked about being afraid of finding out that she wasn't really who she thought she was and that her whole sort of persona was based on being the fat girl. And, um, and I kind of feel that way too because I've been overweight my whole life. Um, I don't know what it's like not to be the fat girl. And I will kind of always be the fat girl because I'm never going to be thin. It's just not my body, the way my body is built. But, um... I don't know how to be that person. So this is a, a, a journey of discovery for me. Um, and we're starting to get into that uncharted territory. I weigh less now than I did for at least half of high school. Um, the last time I weighed what I do now, I was probably 17. And um, I've shared that story as well about what was going on at the time. But, um, you know, at 17, you're still a kid. I know you think that you aren't a kid, but you're still a kid. And uh, I'm sort of discovering this, this this person that was maybe always in there. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm grateful for this journey to have come at the time it did in my life. And uh, I know lots of people say, I wish I had done it earlier. And there's part of me that does, but there's another part of me that realizes I did it at exactly the right time for me. Um, I know that there are a lot of challenges ahead for me, um, in a number of ways. Um, I still have, well, less than 50 pounds to go now to my first goal of 210 pounds. Um, my ultimate goal is 190 pounds. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to get there. Um, even if I do get there, I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain there. Um... Maybe after plastic surgery, obviously, having lost 200 pounds, I have a lot of excess skin. So after plastics, maybe I'll be able to get to my goal weight. The closer I get, the more I realize it doesn't actually matter to me that much. And that is a revelation. Um, it matters to me because I'm very type A and I'm very driven and I'm very goal oriented. So it matters to me because I want to get to my goal eventually. But I started to realize it only matters to me for that reason. It doesn't really matter to me for any other reason. I just want to be healthy and happy with the way I look and with my strength and my fitness level. That number doesn't really matter. The only reason it matters is because of my insane type A personality. So it'll be interesting to see if I can get over that. Um, Speaking of numbers and goals, <laughs> um, I'm at the point now where I've got to sort of recalculate my goals. So um, my goal was going to be to reach um, under 250 pounds by the time I go to California in October. To be honest, uh, I'm close enough now. Um, I won't give it away, but I think that will happen. So my new goal is going to be 245. So I'd like to be 245 by the time I... Uh, I go to California in October and uh, my next goal will be my first um, my first goal weight which is 210 um, and I'm hoping to get there <sighs> ideally I would like to be there before the um, the WSFA conference and cruise in April so we'll see if that happens but um, those are my new goals and uh, thank you guys for sharing this with me always remember to appreciate every step in your journey have a great day